So here's my, my favorite topic. Um, the resume. Okay? What's a, what's a resume? What is a resume? If we're intellectually honest about that. Can I borrow this thing? Okay. First of all, one page front and back, is that acceptable? N not more than one or even one page, whatever. Alright, so here's my resume, sir. I want you to read that. And on that piece of paper, I'm going to tell you how great I am so you'll hire me in your company. Is that fair? Okay. And now, you're like, oh, this guy, I don't understand his translations. He doesn't have any credentials, but okay, I'll take the interview. Okay. Sir, 15 minutes is all I got. Let me tell you how great I am and why you should hire me. Now, for intellectually honest, isn't that really what a resume is in, in an interview? Right? Okay, so now erase in your mind the, this impression of me and whatever, how much time we've had is because I'm an extrovert to the extreme. Um, and now let's take the average military person who spent all their adult lives. Now, whether that's someone who transitioned when they were 18 to 24 and went right out of high school and spent six years in the Air Force, or whether it's someone like me who spent 23 years in the Army after four years at West Point being totally indoctrinated about what right looks like. It's all about the team, right? There is no I in team. Let me assure you, there is no I in team. For 27 years of my adult life, it's been beaten into my head. There is no I in team, right? So how comfortable do you think I am writing one page about myself? And how comfortable do you think I am talking about myself? I, I'm convinced that Jen did the bio before uh, the, the Pledge of Allegiance because I usually get up and try to hip check her out of the way because I just don't like that. I, it, it makes me uncomfortable. I love talking about veterans, if you can tell. And I'm passionate about that. But I, I don't like this. Okay, if you want my, the rest of my bio, you can find it someplace, right? They just want to support the team. In fact, if you're on active duty, they're in the Army, we call, I don't know what the Marines call it. In the Army, we call it a spotlight ranger. <clears throat> if you try and stick out beyond your peers, you're called a spotlight ranger. And you're cast aside. So now you take these great young men and women with all these great values, who all of their adult lives, their formative years, right, and it's been ingrained in their head that it's about the team, and now you bring them into a society where they have to tell someone how great they are on one page, piece of paper, front and back, and then spend 15 minutes interviewing. Any reason why they don't interview well? <laughs> and don't do resumes well? Okay, and so usually when I talk to fellow employers about that, they're like, well, yeah, but, but that's, that's the guy I want on my team. That's the gal I want on my team. I want someone who's focused on selfless service, who's committed to the goals of the organization. See, yeah, but the challenge is you can't get it past the fact that they don't have any credentials on their resume, you can't understand their resume, and you don't get that they're not comfortable writing the resume. So once if you can get past all that stuff, then hop in. The water's warm in this pool. Come on in. Join our team. Okay? 